Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the steps to install Windows 10 on VMware. If you need help with setting up VMware or downloading the Windows 10 ISO file, be sure to check out my previous two videos where I cover those topics. You can find the videos linked in the description below. As you can see, the Windows 10 ISO file is already downloaded and ready on the desktop. Before we get started, make sure your system meets the necessary requirements. Step 1. Open VMware Player Launch. VMware Workstation Player on your computer. If you haven't installed VMware yet, download it from the official VMware website and follow the installation prompts. Let's Step 2. Create a virtual machine. In the VMware Player interface, click Create a new virtual machine. You will be prompted to choose the installation source. You can select Installer Disk Image File, ISO, if you have a Windows 10 ISO file, or opt for I will install the operating system later. Step 3. Configure the virtual machine. When configuring the new virtual machine, Set the guest operating system to Microsoft Windows and choose Windows 10 as the version. Name the virtual machine and choose the location where you want the virtual machine's files to be saved. Keep this location easily accessible. Step 4. Configure the hardware specifications. Adjust the hardware settings, such as the amount of RAM, number of CPU cores, and disk space, memory, RAM. Allocate at least 2 gigabit, 2048 mebiles, for optimal performance. More memory can improve performance if your host machine has sufficient resources. Processor cores. Assign two or more CPU cores to ensure smooth operation. Hard disk space. Set the virtual disk size to at least 60 GB. Step 5. Choose the installation media file. If you did not select the UIS file in Step 2, click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings, then go to CD DVD SATA, and choose Use ISO Image File. Browse to the location of your Windows 10 UIS file. Step 6. Start the Windows. 10. Installation process power on the virtual machine by clicking Play Virtual Machine. The Windows 10 setup should launch from the ISO file. If the installation does not start automatically, make sure the virtual machine's boot order is set to prioritize the CDI DVD drive over the hard disk. Step 7. Configure the language. When the Windows 10 setup begins, select your preferred language, time format, and keyboard layout. Click Next to proceed. Click Install Now to start the installation. Step 8. Activate Windows. Enter a valid Windows 10 product key if you have one. If you don't, click I don't have a product key to continue. You can activate Windows later once the installation is complete. Step 9. Choose Windows version. Choose the edition of Windows 10 you wish to install, such as Windows 10 Home or Windows 10 Pro. Make sure to match this with the product key you plan to use. Step 10. Select Installation Type. For a fresh installation, choose Custom, Install Windows Only, Advanced. You will be prompted to select the drive for installation. The virtual hard disk you created earlier will appear as Drive Zero Unallocated Space. Select it and click Next. Step 11. Configure Windows. The Windows installer will begin copying files and installing features. This process may take several minutes. 
the virtual machine may restart several times during the installation. Let it complete all steps without interference. Step 12. Add your account. After installation, you will be asked to sign in with a Microsoft account or create an offline account. If you choose a Microsoft account, you will need to enter your email and password. If you prefer an offline account, select Offline Account and follow the prompts. Step 13. Create an account. If you chose an offline account, set up a username and password. Ensure the password is secure as it will be used to access your virtual machine. Step 14. Beat the robots. You may encounter CAPTCHA or security verification challenges. Complete these as prompted to confirm that you're not a robot. Step 15. Create a PIN. Windows will prompt you to create a PIN, which is a quicker way to sign in to your virtual machine. You can skip this step, but setting up a PIN is recommended for convenience. Step 16. Choose privacy. Windows 10 will ask you to configure privacy options such as location, diagnostic data, speech recognition, and tailored experiences. Customize these settings according to your preference and click Accept. Step 17. Finish configuration. The final setup phase includes applying the chosen settings and preparing windows for the first use. This may take several minutes. The virtual machine will eventually boot to the Windows 10 desktop. Step 18. Connect to a Wi-Fi network. VMware typically bridges the virtual machine's network to the host's network. Step 19. Test the installation. Once the installation is complete, open the Start menu, Access Settings, and browse around to ensure everything works correctly. Step 20. Stop and start the virtual machine. To make sure everything runs smoothly, shut down the virtual machine and restart it. This will confirm that Windows 10 can boot without issues. Power off the virtual machine from the Start menu and then start it again from the VMware Player interface. Your Windows 10 installation on VMware is now complete. The virtual machine should be ready for use, providing a full Windows environment on your existing system. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more tech tutorials like this one. See you in the next video.